So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Once you're on this, you want to copy and paste the four commands which should be down below in the description. But I'm just going to write out the first one, which is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash check health. And then click on enter. And then you want to run these next three commands into CMD. You could just copy and paste them. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to check for updates and do the updates that your computer may have. For the next step, you want to head over to the link in the description, which will take you to this website. Then you want to download the senseapi.dll. You just want to scroll down and click on download. I've got the file here on my desktop. Now I'm going to create a new folder. Right click, new folder. And then you want to right click, hold and drag the zip file into the new folder. And then click on extract. Then click on extract again. Now once we have this, you want to head over to search and type in Roblox Player. You want to right click on it and then click on open file location. And then you want to right click on Roblox Player again and then click on open file location again. Then you want to drag the senseapi.dll into the Roblox game files, like this. And then you have it here. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in task manager. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to find anything that says Roblox on it. If you do find it, you want to right click on it and then click on end task. Then you want to head over to the details tab and then do the same thing. Anything that says Roblox on it, you want to right click on it and then click on end process tree. Now once you complete these steps in the video, now you can open up Roblox and the problem should be fixed. If it's still not fixed, then you want to uninstall it and then reinstall it again. Now to uninstall Roblox, we're going to head over to search and type in add or remove programs. Click on it. Once you're on this, we're going to scroll down until we find Roblox player. You want to click on the three dots and uninstall it, then click on uninstall again. Now once that's been uninstalled, we're going to head over to search and type in Microsoft Store. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to search for Roblox and just install it again. And then you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 